Hello friends, this is Raman Gill with your weekly Forex market analysis for the week of November 28th, 2016. Just a quick disclaimer before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. If you have questions about your individual investment needs, I recommend you talk to your investment advisor. Let's start off by taking a look at our calendar for this week. We have a busy calendar with a lot of central bankers speaking here. We start the week off with uh, ECB President Draghi speaking on Monday here, and then Bank of Canada Governor Pola speaking in the evening. On Tuesday, we have uh, preliminary CPI numbers here and Spanish flash CPI numbers out of the Eurozone and net lending to individuals for the British pound here. And then we also have preliminary GDP numbers for the U.S. dollar. And then we have consumer confidence numbers for the U.S., which will be important. And then back into our central bank theme, we have Reserve Bank of New Zealand Financial Stability Report. And then also Reserve Bank of New Zealand Governor Wheeler speaking in the Asian session. Going into Wednesday here, we have bank stress test result for the British pound. That could have a big impact on the British pound here and then OPEC meetings all day Wednesday. So anything, any comments coming out of the OPEC meetings will be very important for oil as well as Canadian dollar, dollar CAD. So that will be something to keep an eye on. We also have ECB President Draghi speaking again, and then ADP non-farm employment change, and then GDP number for the Canadian dollar. We also have crude oil inventories. So with the crude oil inventories, as well as the OPEC meetings going on, on the same day, we may see volatility in the price of oil and gas as well as for dollar CAD. We also have private capital expenditure for Aussie and then manufacturing and non-manufacturing PMI numbers for China. Going into Thursday here, we have manufacturing PMI numbers for the British pound, which will be very important. Unemployment claims for the US dollar and also ISM manufacturing PMI numbers. The PMI numbers are a leading indicator, so it's important to pay attention to these. And then we have retail sales number for the Aussie. And Friday, very important day, we start the day off with construction PMI numbers out of UK. And then into the US session here, we have unemployment numbers for Canadian dollars, as well as very, very important here, non-farm numbers for the US. So at this point, market is expecting an interest rate hike for the US dollar in December. However, if we see a big negative number for the non-farm employment change, if we see numbers declining there, that could have an impact on that decision. So market will be paying attention to this. Let's move on to the charts here. We are looking at pound US dollar weekly chart. For last week, we saw Pound had a positive close for the day. However, at this point, it hasn't uh, breached the 125.30 level here. So that will be the key area that we'll be watching for this week. If the price breaks through to the upside, we could be looking at 126.80, which is the high over here to be reached again. Looking at the daily here, we do see that the price has been trading in this range for some time now and hasn't really stayed above 125.30. If it does break above that, then 26.80 would be our next target. However, we do need to see a break of this range first. At this point, I am neutral on pound dollar. Euro US dollar weekly chart here, we do see an indecision candle at this point and price has started to push off a bit. After this huge drop in Euro, we can expect to see a pullback. So the level that I'd be watching for this would be 108.20 to the upside here. So we're looking for a pullback in that area and then potentially another drop again. The fundamentals for the Euro are not that strong at the moment and that's why we have been seeing Euro just drop. However, since we have had a big drop, a pullback is expected. Going into the daily chart here, we do see that the price has broken up now has and has gone and tested the 106.90 area. Above this level here, we are watching for this 108.20. And if the price stays below that, we could get another shorting opportunity or even into the 108.60 level here, we may have an opportunity to go short on Euro. Overall though, I am bearish on Euro, 
but expecting a pullback for this week. So a nice level to take a short from would be a 108.60. New Zealand US dollar weekly chart here we did see a bullish candle and since then we have seen a prices push up a bit here 71 20 level is the next support and resistance area to watch out for and then beyond that 71 80 level looking at the daily chart here we are in a bit of a range still price tried to break lower hasn't managed to stay low and since then has pushed off we did see a double bottom here and now we are seeing a push back up in New Zealand dollar the key level to watch here would be 71 20 level which is right here and then further into 71 80 up here so if the price stays below 71.80, we can look for another move to the downside. However, if the price does start to break above higher, then we have this move open. Aussie US dollar here, we did see a bullish close for the week and as such, we could look for a further pullback here. The level we are watching is 75.80. Looking at the daily chart here, we have seen that Aussie has gone up over the last few days and the next target to watch here would be 7500 and above that 7580 at the 7580 level i'd be looking for some setups to see if the price will actually hold above this level or it may want to bounce off of that so 7580 could be a good level for a potential short opportunity but in the meantime we are looking at 7500 as the first target level and then finally into 7580 Dollar CAD here has sat in this range for the last couple of weeks between 13400 and 13600. Looking at the daily chart, as you can see, price has gone back and forth. And now for the last three days, price hasn't broken above the level here. We are looking at 135. 40 level approximately 135 35 level and price hasn't broken above that so if the price does stay below then we'd be looking for a retest of 13400 and if that gets breached back into 132 80 level here however it is important for us to see which way the price goes here still in the range so we would trade this as a range bound market if the price goes to the top 13600 or 3590 level we're looking for a potential selling opportunity and if the price comes into this 13400 level we could see the support there so price could bounce off of so that will be the range and if the price breaks above the 13600 we could look for a long and if the price breaks through 13400 we could look for a short selling opportunity just a quick reminder here we do have our promotion for Black Friday and Cyber Monday on right now the promotion will expire after Monday so this is a good opportunity to get the learn to trade Forex course at a really discounted price this is over 40% off of the original price here if you would like to learn more about the course you can visit tradingwithvenus.com forward slash Forex course that's it for now have a wonderful trading week and I will see you next time